Hey guys, welcome back. Last time I showed you how you could do a star topper. Today I'm going to show you how you can go ahead and make an angel topper. If you didn't see the star tutorial, these are it. So go ahead and check it out. That's also on my website under Dollhouse Mentor Madness and Tutorials and or dollhousetutorials.com. Okay, so in order to make this, these are little buttons and like sequences and stuff like that that you can get. Um, and check it out. Celebrate it makes them. I'm sure you can find any brand now. All right, so once you have it, then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and get yourself a hot glue gun. Okay, and then you're going to be very careful not to burn yourself. You're going to attach some hot glue right along there. All right, then you're going to take a straw and you're going to lay it right inside there, just like that. Make sure you have it straight, otherwise when you put it on the top of your tree, it will be crooked. Now, if your tree is going to be seen from both angles, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to take and put a second one on the back of there. So in that case, you just want to add some more glue right along there. and attach another one to the back. Okay, so then that's going to give you a look that looks like this. Okay, so you can leave it like that or you could take some of the stars from left over from when you made the star one and you can cut out the pieces of it. And you can just glue them in along the edge where it's open. Not necessary, but you can do just that. If I can hold it, I don't want to glue it on there because I like it without it. But um, you can just kind of glue that to the edge. It's completely up to you. All right, once you have it like that, then you want to go ahead and determine the height you want it away from the Christmas tree and then snip it off just like that. All right, now if yours has buttons on the back of there, you can do one or two things. You can cut them off using a pair of wire cutters or you can get a coffee stirrer if your treetop wire is thin enough that it'll fit through there and you can put it up through there that way and attach it with some glue. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and also, real quick, um, if you're having a hard time getting it up through the buttonhole, just give it one little snip. That'll help it go through. But I'm going to go ahead and attach some glue right to the back of this one. And then I'm going to take my coffee stirrer that I have, and I'm going to push it right up in there. And at this point, I am going to put a star on the back, but in order to get this star to work out, because it does have a buttonhole, I need to fold the star directly in the middle like that, and I'm going to need to cut the center of it. Now, I'm using micro tip scissors for this, so it will actually fit. Okay, peel the back of it off. I'm going to attach it right in here. Now you can do this before or after, it's completely up to you. I'm doing it this way. Okay, so once I've glued it to the back, I want to take a second star and I want to attach it to it. Now I'm going to actually end up taking silver and gold because that's just what I want to do. And this time I'm going to put some crazy glue, I mean some hot glue on the back of it just because it's going to be like a bending in the um, material. Okay, so I'm going to put that directly in the middle just like that and then I want to finish it off with this one going the opposite way. 
going to the corner. Now, I put the button or the first star behind the button and behind the um, coffee star because I wanted it to have dimension to it. You don't have to do that. You can put it on first if you want. It's completely up to you. But whichever way you decide that you want to do it, make sure that you trim up your edges of your star so that all of the stickers meet. Now this is just a foam, like a star foam. But that's what it would look like. So you, you can follow the tutorial and learn how to do these for your Christmas tree on your dollhouse, or you can do these. Either way. And again, you can put the stars in between here too. If you put it in between here, you can do it before or after. It might be easier for you to do it before if you want it to show like this. But that's it. So I can get focus for you. There you go. Okay guys, well thanks for watching and don't forget to follow Dollhouse Mantra Madness and tutorials for more DIY. And also don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment below. And we have a Christmas mess going on in here. Okay guys, thanks for watching and don't forget to follow Dollhouse Mantra Madness and tutorials.com. Also check us out on Facebook, Dollhouse Mantra Madness and Tutorials and on YouTube. Like and subscribe to the channel because we post videos all the time. And leave a comment, question, or suggestion because we love hearing from you. And if you like Pinterest, we have tons of pens on there as well under Laurie Holden Heisler. All right, thanks a lot. Have a great day.